Hello everyone, it is Saturday morning and this is Herb from World of Walt coming to you live from Disney's Animal Kingdom. And for those of you who are watching the replay, you get a sneak peek of the floating mountains of Pandora at Disney's Animal Kingdom opening up in just a um, couple months. So, thanks for joining me. It is Saturday morning. I'm at Disney's Animal Kingdom and I've got a fast pass for Primeval World. Time to get twirled around. It is a really nice Saturday morning here. Um, mid 70s temperatures, low humidity, beautiful sky, few clouds out there. It's going to get up to maybe mid 80s. Great time to be here. Hi, John. Thanks for joining me. Ah, Mike says that his wife is a fan. Hi, Angie. Good morning to you. And Mackenzie from North Dakota. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Paul. Thanks for being here. And Brenda, good morning from Oregon. Appreciate everybody who joins me on the live broadcast. It's fun to share a little bit of Disney with everyone. Roberta, good morning. I, I agree. We have a beautiful day here. Uh-oh, Susan said her daughter hated the ride. Uh, she can close her eyes when it comes to that type of video. <laughs> ride View World is definitely not for everyone. Um, it's not it's not too crazy, but if you don't like spinning or drops, it's not for you. Actually, if you don't like it, maybe this is the way to experience it on video. Jessica says, favorite part of Saturday morning. Thank you very much. I appreciate your being here with me on the, on the live video. Justin says, good morning from New York. Thank you, Justin, for being here. Melissa from Washington State, hello. Carrie's on her way right now. Okay, straight ahead, Tree of Life. Uh, it's fun to come to Animal Kingdom in the evenings now because there's a little intermittent show projected on the Tree of Life, kind of fun. And I think this park, once Pandora is open, is gonna be a buzz of activity in the evenings. Joey from Northeast Pennsylvania, thanks for being here. Oops, I better pay attention to where I'm walking or I'm gonna get stuck. John from sunny California asks how the weather is. Uh, it's great, maybe not as good as California, but it's nice, mid 70s, low humidity, at least by Florida standards. Sunny, great day to be here. Mary Ellen says her kids tricked her by saying it didn't spin very much. Uh-oh, I bet you had a conversation with your kids after that. Uh, Primeval World is one of the spinniest rides if there is such a, a word. Ah, looks like they're having a little demonstration with some parrots up here. So let's take a, a quick break and see what's going on. Anne-Marie says, Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Amanda said she thought Pandora was open. No, not till around Memorial Day. Uh, there are some previews. I got a preview as a pass holder. I'm looking forward to it. Cindy from New Orleans, hello. All right, let's take a second and check out what's going on here. Brazil nuts pretty easily. 
Let's see if he's going to show off. Are you going to show off for everyone today, Leonard? He might work on that there for a while. But trust me, there he got off a little piece there. Tiny little piece. But imagine if he could do that in just seconds, the type of destruction that he could do in your house, which is why we always recommend enjoy parrots at places like Animal Kingdom. Keep your homes parrot-free. Trust me, you will thank us for that tip. But, you know, despite all of the reasons they can be so challenging in the home, people are still taking parrots illegally out of the wild and selling them. It's the illegal pet trade, and it's actually one of the biggest reasons why blue-throated macaws like Lilo and Stitch are critically endangered out in the wild. In fact, we're really lucky to see them out here today flying around because that's a pretty hard sight to find nowadays. This is the rarest macaw species out there. There are estimated to be less than 130 blue-throated macaws left in the wild today. That's it, under 130. Okay, now, interesting you know, talk about parrots, beautiful birds. Bad tip not, not to take them at home. Program, they did look like that parrot had a really powerful beak. Terry says he's going to be here in 81 days from the UK. Hope you have a great trip. Susan says, loves the demonstrations and shows. Yeah, it's a, a great part of Animal Kingdom. Oh, boy. There are a lot of parrots flying around here. They just fly lower. Tammy, happy Easter to you as well. Uh, Michelle asked, as it gets busy during Easter. So my take is that anytime kids are out of school, it can be a very busy time. And actually, Disney does a really good job of keeping the parks busy just all the time. All right, we got more birds flying up into this tree here. Kind of hard to see them. Vicky says, uh, when I come on, shout Herb's on in front of the TV. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for tuning in. It's fun to do the broadcast. Kayla says, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Shane says, hello from the Shank family in Winter Haven, Florida, just down the road. Thank you for tuning in. Judy says, how do you watch it on TV? Uh, I actually don't know. I guess if you can uh, watch Facebook or watch uh, get to a web browser on your TV, maybe that's a way to do it. Maybe someone can comment on the way that they um, put the broadcast onto their television. Jamie says, thanks for the live videos. You are welcome. Sandy's going to be here in November. Ooh, Amanda says, go get some barbecue at Flame Tree. Yeah, I walked right past it and didn't even comment. I almost always do. Flame Tree Barbecue right back there on my left. One of my favorite quick service restaurants anywhere at Walt Disney World. Definitely a favorite for Animal Kingdom. If you like ribs, it's a great place to go. They've got a special way of smoking their ribs. The sides are good. Definitely recommend it. Destiny's going to be here on May 7th. Hope you have a good trip. Bobby asks, how do I keep the camera so steady? So the trick is that I have a gimbal. Uh, gimbal just kind of looks like a handle, and then you put your phone into it, and it stabilizes the video as you go along. So I'm really glad that I made the investment in the gimbal. I think it makes for a whole lot more stable shot. Not perfect. Actually, sometimes if the gimbal gets a little upset, you'll see the, the picture just go shaky crazy. But when it works, it does a good job. So thanks for asking. Ken says, thanks for sharing the Disney day. Glad to do it. Disney's firing up the uh, water fans. I don't know if you can see it up there beyond the trees and mist coming out. Dale from Ohio says, broadcast to the best. Thank you very much. Cheryl is a fan of the dinosaur ride. Actually, I looked for a fast pass for dinosaur today, but didn't plan far enough ahead, couldn't get one. So that's why we're headed to Primeval World. Actually, if we hang a right here, we'd head over to Dinosaur. But I'm going to go straight ahead to Dino Land USA. We'll take in Primeval World. Chris and Julie says, where are the turkey legs? Uh, you know, I don't know where there's one. Not a friendly person. 
Karina, happy Easter to you as well. Grace, thanks for your nice comment about the videos. I appreciate that. Christians, loving the memories, says thank you. You are welcome. Thank you for being here with me. <laughs> Kevin is spreading a rumor that they are not turkey legs, but emu legs. I think they'd be a lot more expensive if they were emu legs. Sheena, happy Easter to you as well. Hopefully I'm saying your name properly. Uh, it looks like uh, this attraction is getting ready to take off. Not everybody's quite in there. I think this is Triceratops spin, if I remember correctly. Hi, Kelly. Happy Easter to you. Hi, everyone. This is Easter. For your safety, please stay seated with your seatbelt fastened. Nice and tight while you're like some people are still sure getting in there. And please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside your dinosaur. Let's walk over to the side. We'll watch this for a minute before we get on Prime Evil World. David asked, did I see Ant and Deck at the Magic Kingdom? So, interesting, I was there last weekend. They had a huge stage set up right at uh, the entrance to the Magic Kingdom. And um, they were kind of testing it. They had a bunch of bleachers. I asked someone, but... It seemed like the uh, bleachers were reserved for people with tickets. So I saw them doing some audio testing, but I didn't actually get to see the show being taped there itself. Oh, here we go. Lewis, happy Easter to you. Ron says, say hi to Rich. We just logged in. Hi, Rich. Annabelle, happy Easter. Gabriella, welcome. All right. Edgardo shared the video. Thank you for doing that. Appreciate everyone who does the uh, thumbs up and the hearts and the shares. It's a great way to spread the word. It's a big encouragement to me, so thanks for doing that. All right, I've got my fast pass ready to go for Primeval World. Let's see how the broadcast works. Jamie, happy Easter to you. Thank you from Colorado. Thanks for joining. All right, we're in. Tiffany, happy Easter. David, happy Easter to you, too. Going to be here in 11 days. Hello, Dawn. Thanks for joining. Lisa, happy Easter. David says, have fun on the ride. I will. I will do my best to make sure that my phone does not go flying off into the... Uh, Primeval Wilderness. Uh, Samantha's asking for a wishes video. It is actually on my list. Thank you. Thanks. So wishes, I think, only has another month or so to go before it becomes happily ever after. I've been meaning to get over there to take some photos so I can remember. And I hope that once happily ever after is up and running I can maybe do a video of that I've got to think that for the first few weeks that it is showing probably the internet connection is going to be overwhelmed with the Magic Kingdom uh, Mary says what's the best phone to use for stuff like this I think any phone that runs the Facebook app so any iPhone or Android will probably do the job I think it's just the uh, for me it's the gimbal that really makes a difference in uh, keeping the video steady. 
Don says, am I going to go on May 11th for the last night of wishes? I don't know if I'm going to go there for the last night. I, I suspect it's going to be crazy packed, but I really do hope I can get over there before it wraps up. Fran, happy Easter to you. Thanks for being here on the podcast, or the broadcast, excuse me. Walter, good morning from Jacksonville, just up the road. Thanks for tuning in. Wow, Jim said he and his daughter went on this 12 times in a row. <laughs> you must have strong constitutions. Good for you. Alan shared the video. Alan, thank you very much for doing that. Really appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who shares the videos. and uh, Thanks for all the thumbs up and the likes. It's a big encouragement to me. Thank you. All right, we're getting there. It's almost time to load up. Kevin from Louisville. Peter is going to be here from Toronto. 129 days, not that he's counting. Stephen from Ohio, thanks for tuning in. Harry from California. Shell asks, where is this ride? This is Primeval World, which is in the Dinoland USA section of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Not too far from the dinosaur ride. Not too far from uh, where Finding Nemo the Musical takes place. Be here in a couple weeks. What? All right, we're in. I will do my best to hold the video steady, but no guarantees here. Welcome to Prime Evil World. I love when they say, don't pick up any, any, any hitchhiking dinosaurs. <laughs> Amanda says she's surprised that the uh, cast members don't know me by name. Uh, I guess the good news is there are 70,000 of them and one of me, so I can still blend in. Danielle says she loves the videos. Thank you. All right, here we go. Up the main lift. Hey, Adam. Welcome to Primeval World. Hold on. Okay. Whoa. Uh oh. This is where the camera goes a little crazy.
actually saying wee along with me. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see if the camera will steady on its own here. Steady. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Oh. Oh. Goodness, we made it. Okay, I made it on Primeval World. I have no idea what that video looked like. Maybe a little crazy. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Hi, Janet. Bill Dash Audrey says, too short. Shane said, awesome. Actually, it's a fun ride. There's normally not a very long wait. Um, not necessarily the best ride for doing a broadcast since there's so many spins and shakes, but it's a lot of fun. Bobby says it was fun. Glad you thought so. Kathy says it looks fun, but the spinning would do her in. Ron says thanks. Thank you. Daniel, thank you for sharing the video. Appreciate that. Laura asked about the crowds. Uh, there were plenty of people streaming in this morning in the parking lot, so I would imagine people are going to be off for the Easter weekend, so I think crowds will be here. Michelle says it was fun. Thank you. Jill says thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being here with me. Take a second watch. Derek says, how many people fit in the car today? It looks like about 314. Janet, happy Easter to you as well. Hope you have a great trip in just six weeks' time. Judy says, thanks for the videos. You're welcome. Brad is requesting Splash Mountain. I will put that on the list of possible things to do. I actually did uh, broadcast once a long time ago from Splash Mountain, and I was uh, pretty concerned that my phone was gonna gonna get wet. But uh, maybe if I don't use the gimbal and it's a little shakier, and I duck the phone into a plastic bag right before the big dip, I might be able to do that. So maybe so. Beth, happy Easter to you. Robert says, thanks for doing the video. Glad to do it. Marty says, you seem to have more difficult ride on this than any other. I think for video quality, it's just all the turns and the shakes, so it really spins you around. All right, everybody, I appreciate your joining me today here at Disney's Animal Kingdom for a little spin on Primeval World. Uh, again, thanks for all of the shares and the likes. Uh, thanks for tuning in. It's fun to, to share this with you. Um, to those of you who celebrate Easter, I wish you a very happy Easter. And I hope you have a great weekend. So thanks, everybody, for joining me. God bless. Good job.